Hi, Pete here from Club Engineer. In the previous talk through, we wrote the code to get the robot to navigate the water tower. However, after lots and lots of hard work, we found that occasionally it wouldn't work. It would either undershoot or overshoot the line after it had got past the water tower. So, time to have a look at another algorithm. First of all, let's revisit what we wrote previously. The robot approaches the water tower, it stops, it turns right, it moves forward, it turns left. Aha, that was the problem. There was an error in that left hand turn, causing it to undershoot the line. The algorithm we used has seven move blocks, one after the other, and with every move block there's a chance of a small error being introduced, and these errors add up. So of course at the end of seven move blocks there's a possibility that the robot won't be where it should be. What we need to do is reduce the number of move blocks. Here is an alternative algorithm. The robot turns right 45 degrees, then it starts a long sweeping bend until one of the light sensors detects the line. It then turns right and resumes line following. That sounds a lot simpler. There will be far fewer blocks and far fewer places for an error to be introduced. So let's get started. We'll go to our two sensor line following with water tower program and double click on the water tower my block. I'm going to save a copy of this so we can keep the one which we worked on previously in case we need to go back to it. So go file, save as, I'm going to call this one water tower 01 and click save. Back to the two cents the line following program. We'll go to the My Block tab of the block palette and we'll select Water Tower 01 and drop that onto the sequence beam where the Water Tower code executes. Now we'll delete the one we no longer want to use. Double click on the Water Tower 01 My Block and we're in the code. Now we want the first block which stops both motors. We also want the second block which rotates the robot 45 degrees towards the right. We, however, we don't want the rest of the blocks. So we'll move them off the sequence beam and pop them down here in case we need them down the track. Now we want the robot to commence a large sweeping turn around the water tower leaving it to its left. So we'll do that with a move block. We'll set it to control motors A and C. We'll set the power to 40%. We'll set the rotations to unlimited. Now, here's where the trial and error is required. We'll use the turn ratio to specify how far it turns. So let's crank it up, say, one, two, three clicks compile, download and run and we'll see how our program executes. Our robot turns right 45 degrees and commences the turn. Ha. As you can see, in this case it's not turning sharply enough. So we need to increase the turn ratio. So we go back to the NextG software, we click on, click on our move block and I'm going to inc increase the turn ratio. Compile download and run. Ah, as you can see we've gone too far. The robot's turning too sharply and this time it's banging into the water tower. Back to the next G software and we will decrease the turn ratio just slightly. You can see the process of trial and error here. Compile, download and run. Our robot turns to the right, it starts its sweeping bend, and that's perfect. Good. Now what we have to do is add a weight, weight block. So when the robot detects the black line, it stops the sweeping turn and it resumes line following. So we'll come to the list of flow control blocks on the component palette. We'll add the weight block down. We'll set it to weight on light sensor. We'll set it to weight on light sensor 1. 
We'll go back to the two sensor line following program to check the threshold that we're using for light sensor one. And as you can see, anything that's black is regarded as less than 57. I'm back to our water tower program. We'll change the threshold to 57. And we'll change it to wait until it sees something less than 57. And we will compile, download and run. Robot turns right, it starts the sweeping bend. It detects the line and it stops. Huh. But as you can see, it's overshooting the line. And the reason for that is that it takes a while for the motors to stop when they fall off the end of the sequence beam here. What we need is a stop block to stop the motors. Then we'll test that. We're going to stop motors A and C. Compile, download and run. Robot turns to the right, starts the sweeping bend, detects the black line and it stops. Good. Now the final step is to delete this clutter down here and to test from the main program. Compile, download and run. Robot approaches the water tower, detects it, it turns right, it starts the sweeping bend, spots the black line and it resumes line following. Perfect. So we'll try this one more time from the other direction. The robot approaches the water tower, detects the water tower, it turns right, starts the sweeping bend, it continues until it sees the black line, then it resumes line following. Good. That's a much simpler and a much more robust algorithm. You have a shot at implementing that yourself and then we'll come back and we'll work together on some more physical barriers including the speed bumps and the bridge. Good luck with your implementation. The material we're covering in these talkthroughs is hard and sometimes, in spite of your best effort, you may find that you're stuck. Often, it only takes a small amount of face-to-face -face help to get you back on track. If you think you'd benefit from face-to-face -face help, then open your web browser and type clubengineer.org slash help. You'll see a list of times and places where face-to-face -face help is available. At these sessions, you'll get all the help you need to get back on track. You may also meet like-minded young engineers such as yourself for collaborating on projects down the track. Face-to-face -face sessions are run over the school holidays and after school during term time. They're available for all ages from years 5 to year 12. We also run face-to-face -face sessions for teachers and mentors. We'd love to meet you at one of these sessions and learn what you have been building.